With faces classification, I can quickly and easily create a faces log based off of log plot data and cross plot data. I've already set this up. But what we can do here is I can select from this particular well, I can select a point, dolomite. And then I can also go into another well and select the point in here. So let's look here, we're already creating a curve. So this we're going to call, oh, very interesting. So here, we're going to call this shale. And now let's generate. And we can see we have a little bit too much dolomite and we need to constrain our model. Right now I can't quite figure out what to do here. Let's see if we can find some more information in the neutron density cross plot. So from here I can pick a depth seed point or I can a floating seed point. I'm going to choose a depth seed point and select a region possibly right around in here. So there we go. Let's call that sand generate. And there we go, we're getting a little a better match. Let's go through here though and select so this we're going to call sand generate. So now you can see it's, it's looking a little better. So we have some dolomite here. We still have some sand in there. Generate. And now we can move up through the log and look to see right here. We're having some issues defining this. So I'm going to select a point here. And now our box is showing that it can model that. So shale. There we go. And moving further up, let's see if we have some matches here. Uh, this is anhydrite, so maybe let's pick that. Call this salt. And better to find this one at dolomite. So that's the Pacey's classification.